Mipa is our baby. Uh, by our, I mean it's an output of uh, a collaboration uh, between Lagos State University and Catania University. Mipa gives people the opportunity, you know, to share um, images and to analyze them and to, you know, process data actually before analyzing. So the prospect is high because we can see in future that many people will start to use MIPA and we can see that MIPA will extend and um, it will form a platform where people can actually you know, share information, share expertise. So we see MIPA improving um, you know, medical diagnosis, um, treatment and patient management. The target of uh, the application are largely um, researchers, researchers and clinical, um, you know, experts. The researchers could be um, people who are interested in doing medical researches and who will need um, medical data to do their research. So this could be like, uh, you know, faculty members, and it could be like um, postgraduate students, like PhD or MSc students, whose research require the use of uh, data, medical data. And clinicians could need to share, you know, um, maybe uh, case reports, or they want to know uh, or get an expert to process their data as well. So if they do, um, you know, medical image um, experts are not very common. So clinicians can submit their data, get them processed, and then they can make sense from the data. So researchers and clinicians. We think the major thing is to publicize um, MIPA. So we want people to know about it. Um, it's just like any new technology. Um, before people could adopt a new technology, they have to know about it and they have to see the benefits. And so we want to do that. And uh, of course we need some funding to be able to do, to do that to go out and talk to people and um, do the publicity. And when people see, as I said, the benefits and they know that it's free, then people will key into it. So publicity and, um, is key. And additionally, we want to extend MIPA. Currently, MIPA has um, brain MRI data. We want to put more data into it in terms of um, you know, different types of image modalities. So we want to put CT scan, we want to put ultrasound in it, and we want to put, um, you know, even X-ray data and different anatomies. So we know because the, the dream for, for MIPA is a very big one. So it's designed with, um, you know, having many people using it in mind, but currently, um, you know, it's only brain MRI. So we want to put more images, extend it, so that more people can use it. SciGaia has been extremely, you know, supportive. Um, without SciGaia, it's impossible to have MIPA. This is nothing but the truth. Uh, SciGaia gave us the opportunity to go to Catania to learn about the new technologies. And having learned that, they didn't, you know, um, stop there. They gave us the support. So as we were developing, when we meet any bottlenecks, we contact them. And then, um, you know, Saigaya, you know, the team members uh, under the leadership of Simon and Roberto, we provide the support. So they gave us the technology, gave us the platform, and gave us the support. And actually, MIPA currently is still being hosted in the University of Catania. So that means um, Saigaya is still doing the hosting. So though in future, we want to move it to to Africa, but we've really benefited a lot from SciGaia, and we can see the collaboration even getting deeper with SciGaia.